Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to look at the whole package of spot healing brushes and tools that Photoshop offers to be able to do things with, to kind of in, uh, repair an image. So you can see here I have um, kind of a busy photo of apples uh, on the ground and I just want to fix some parts, you know. Um, and if you saw my last video, it was on the spot healing brush tool. So if you haven't seen that, start with that one. I'm going to get done as much as I can with my spot heal. That's my first go-to when I want to just kind of repair some things in an image. So I don't like this stick that's sticking up here. So I'm just going to kind of paint it away here. All right. And um, sometimes this happens where... It, it's filling in the content, so it found this leaf and it wants to put it here too, but sometimes things can look a little repetitive. Maybe not if they're two. Maybe I can get away with that, but I'm just going to knock that away uh, just because it, it looks like repetitive to me. I want to get rid of this thing in the background here, uh, this fence. So I'm going to also repair that and with the Spot Heal brush tool uh, and some repetitive repeating things there too. I'm just going to get rid of those. Uh, there. And you can kind of see, and I talked about this in the last tutorial video, you got to click a few times sometimes. It doesn't just happen in one shot. You'll have to do it in one shot and then kind of click around to get a better look. All right, next. There's actually a person that's sitting here uh, or standing here. I want to get rid of them, so I'm just going to paint them out. All right. And next. See, I can see something repeating there. Okay, uh, there's these kind of other sticks that are kind of peering up. I want to get rid of those too. All right. Okay. So, what if I wanted to remove this big patch here? It's It kind of looks very, um, it doesn't look very green. I want to kind of, see some of these clovers. Well, like I said, I always start with this brush and let's just see what happens if I just paint this away. Let's see if it fills it in nicely. It kind of did, right? So it did a very good job actually. Um, isn't that amazing? Um, but what if I didn't have this tool? I'll, I'll show you a different tool. It looks like everything I want to do is it's working with this tool, but uh, there's another way. There's, um, if I hold this down, I'm not even going to go to the heel brush. This is a better one. The patch tool. The patch tool is um, you get to select an area um, of concern. So I'm going to kind of select around this area here. And it's a selection. And then with this patch tool, I can drag it and move it and figure out what I want to kind of use as a content aware. So maybe I'll move it right here and let go. And what you can see, that's a, just a different way of do, going about this. And sometimes this works better than the heel brush. But, you know, if you're savvy enough, you can probably see the, rep the, the repeating elements in both of those. This image is very busy, so it actually works very well. Uh, but you can see how we did that. Let's go to a different tool in this package here. The Content Aware Move tool. This is a great little tool here. So sometimes you just want to move something in an image. Just move something. So right here, Content Aware Move. I'm going to take this apple right here, and I want to move it right there. So I'm going to, let me just zoom in so you can see this a little better. I'm going to circle around this Apple with the content aware move tool and I'll zoom out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over here so how about we place it right here and let go now it lets you rotate if you want it has a bounding box you could even scale it I'm not going to though and I'm going to press return or enter and I'll just command D so I don't see it with the um, selection. And you can see what's happened is I've content aware moved it, meaning I moved it and it found the content to fill into the gap where I took it from 
And then when I placed it, it also helped to fill in around where I placed it. So it's uh, looking at the content around it and helping to fill it in. And you can see that really worked very, very well. Excellent. So those are the tools here for repairing things in, in an image. We looked at the patch, the spot heal, and the content aware all in one. So good luck and give it a try.